in this video i will talk about the transfer characteristics of operational amplifier what is transfer characteristics transfer characteristics show how the change in input affects in output or how the output changes with respect to any change in input okay Le so let me describe the operational amplifier transfer characteristics see an operational ampli an ideal operational amplifier has very high input in resistance and in case of ideal operational amplifier it is infinity so ri equal to infinity therefore input acts like an open circuit and the output resistance is out ro equal to zero therefore we can replace th this output resistance with short circuit and the input voltage vi is the voltage difference between the in non inverting terminal and inverting terminal and the the ideal operational amplifier has a gain a equal to infinity okay now let me show you the transfer characteristics of an operational amplifier an operational amplifier transfer characteristics characteristics has three regions positive saturation region negative saturation region and linear region and this positive saturation and negative saturation region is non linear region and this is the linear region so so let me first talk about the non linear region of operational amplifier operational amplifier operates in the non linear region or saturation region when it is in either open loop connect or open loop connection or in positive feedback configuration if the non inverting terminal voltage vp and inverting terminal voltage vn if the non inverting terminal voltage vp is greater than vn by more than 1 millivolt if the vp is greater than the non inverting terminal voltage vn by an amount of 1 millivolt then the operational amplifier will be in positive saturation that means if vp greater than if the difference of vp minus vn is greater than 1 millivolt then the operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region and the at in the at that time vo output will be equal to saturation voltage and the saturation voltage will be controlled by the value of positive bias voltage therefore i can write vo equal to v sat which will be equal to plus vs now in the negative saturation region when vn vn is greater than vp by an amount of 1 millivolt that means the difference or the subtraction from vp minus vn minus vp is greater than 1 millivolt then the operational amplifier this operational amplifier will operate in the negative saturation region that means in the positive saturation region vp will be greater than vn and in the negative saturation region vn will be greater than vp by an amount of 1 milli greater than 1 milli volt okay now i will talk about the linear region about this linear region of this operational amplifier an operational amplifier operates in linear region when it is in negative feedback connection when it is in negative feedback connection therefore the two golden rules of operational amplifier will be applicable in the in this region current through inverting and non inverting terminal will be equal to zero that means ip and in will be equal to zero and second property was inverting and non inverting terminal voltages will be equal vp will be equal to v n okay now when the operational amplifier will operate in the linear region when uh, if we consider this ideal operational amplifier if output resistance become equal to zero then our out in the linear region our output voltage vo will be equal to a into vp minus v n and from this curve we can write see this is this is the non this is the linear region if an operational amplifier wants to operate in the linear region that means its voltage its output voltage has to be less than vo i can write in the in this linear region output voltage must have to be lower than our positive the value of saturation voltage okay so 
आई कैन राइट भी ओ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ आउटपुट वोल्टेज हैज टू बी लेस देन पॉजिटिव सेचुरेशन और पॉजिटिव सप्लाई वोल्टेज टू ऑपरेट इन द लिनियर रीजन सी द इन द लिनियर रीजन द आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज लेस देन द प्लस भी एस सो इफ आई कम्बाइन दिस टू इक्वेशन लेट से दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर टू इफ आई कम्बाइन दिस टू इक्वेशन आई कैन राइट ए आउटपुट वोल्टेज ए इन टू भी पी माइनस भी एन मस्ट बी लोअर देन द वैल्यू मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ सप्लाई वोल्टेज टू ऑपरेट द ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लीफायर इन द लिनियर रिजियन नाउ इफ आई टेक द ए इन द राइट साइड आई कैन राइट मैग्नीट्यूड द वोल्टेज डिफरेंस इन द इनपुट टर्मिनल्स मस्ट हैव टू बी लेस देन प्लस भी एस डिवाइडेड बाय द ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लीफायर गेन सो इफ आई वांट टू ऑपरेट द ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लीफायर इन लिनियर मोड और लिनियर रिजियन देन दैट वी हैव टू देन वी मस्ट हैव टू सेटिसफाई दिस कंडीशन दैट मीन्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ भी पी माइनस भी एन मस्ट हैव टू बी लेस देन द मैग्नीट्यूड that we will we will get by dividing vs with the operational amplifier gain an operational amplifier an operational amplifier is usually biased with a bias voltage either 10 volt 12 volt or 15 volt and an operational amplifier a practical operational amplifier has a gain of 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power Eight. Now, if I take the this value, V P minus V N, magnitude of V P minus V N will be fifteen divided by the value of this A or gain. Let's say I take the value of gain equal to ten to the power eight. This implies that th if I want to operate an amplifier in the non-linear region. Sorry, if I want to an if I want to operate an operational amplifier in linear region, then the voltage difference between this C V P minus V N must be less than point one five into ten to the power minus six. That means the differ difference in this input voltage V P minus V N. Must have to be few microvolt. Ten to the power ten to the power c minus six means it has to be few. The input voltage difference has to be few microvolt to operate the operational amplifier in the linear region. Okay, so this ends my lecture regarding operational amplifier transfer characteristics. This is the extension because some people now this is the extension of this lecture. some people may get confused how the operational amplifier operates in the saturation region when it is in either open loop con connection or in positive feedback or how the operational amplifier will operate in the linear region when it is in negative feedback see the, let's consider this operational amplifier and this is a let's say this is an a practical operational amplifier and it has open loop gain equal to 10 to the power 8 okay so in this op open loop amplifier our gain our output voltage will be a into vi wh which will be a into vp minus vi see the value of gain is equal to 10 to the power 8 now that means if let's say if i, I am applying a voltage of 1 millivolt okay of 1 millivolt in the positive or non inverting terminal then i will get 10 to the power 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 equal to 10 to the power 5 volt which is as the operational amplifier saturation voltage is cannot be greater than the bias voltage then let's say this is equal to our bias voltage then that means the operation in the this open loop gain this op this for this input voltage the operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region now let me consider the positive feedback see this is the output output terminal and the output is directly connected with the positive terminal voltage let's say i am applying a voltage v1 at the 
at this terminal with respect to ground and we get a output voltage that means the output voltage gets increased now we will bring some portion of this increased voltage at this inverting terminal if the voltage at this terminal gets increased this will further increase our output voltage if this output voltage increased it will further increase the VP so this will continue until our output becomes equal to positive saturation okay let's consider this negative feedback circuit this is a no this is a non inverting amplifier circuit and we have deduced that our and we know that a non inverting feedback amplifier has a gain of 1 plus r f divided by r 1 now let's say i take this value equal to 10 kilo ohm that means 10 into 10 to the power 3 and i take this value equal to 1 kilo ohm that means 1 into 10 to the power 3 if i now calculate the gain of this amplifier i will get 10 into 10 to the power 3 divided by the value of 1 into 10 to the power 3 that means i will get the gain the voltage gain equal to 11 now let's if i apply a voltage of let's say 1 millivolt and i am biasing this operational amplifier with a voltage of 15 volt and here with a voltage of minus 15 volt S see if i apply this voltage at the non inverting terminal our output voltage will be equal to this gain into its input voltage okay now here our i have calculated for the circuit our gain equal to 11 so i will multiply this 11 into 10 to the power minus 3 so i will get 11 millivolt now see now if i draw the transfer characteris characteristics of this operational amplifier in the in x axis i will take vp minus vn sorry vp minus vn and in the y axis i will get the output voltage see it has a positive saturation voltage which will be equal to plus vs that means equal to let's say this is 15 volt and negative saturation voltage that will be equal to minus that will be equal to minus 15 volt and in between i will get this a linear region see this the value of this output voltage equal to 11 milli millivolt which will be equal in this region okay so see this output voltage we get this output output voltage in the linear region therefore i can conclude that when the operational amplifier in is in positive feedback when the operational amplifier operates in the open loop connection due to high gain it will whatever the input voltage it will operate in operational amplifier in the either positive saturation or negative saturation or when the when the operational amplifier is in positive feedback any change in the output if the in output increased it will increase the vp as a result either the operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation if the output get decreased out it will reduce the vp therefore uh, uh, otherwise the operational amplifier will operate in the negative satura saturation region but in case of negative feedback out if output voltage equal is in between this positive saturation or negative saturation voltage then i can conclude that the operational amplifier is operating in the non uh, in the linear region in case of negative feedback okay that's it thank you <laughs>